Good evening, April 7th, 2023. And uh, I'm started to, going to start doing um, a video series here. This is probably pre the video series. Why America Sucks Now. And I'm going to start tonight as my shopping experience at a local chain called Meyer. It's a regional chain here in the Midwest. They've got like 40 stores in uh, Indiana, many more of that in Michigan. They're in every, every place. They're all over the Midwest. Now, this is a store that's always prided itself on focusing on customers. Well, okay, fine. So, I don't go to Walmart unless I have to because it's just a melee. So, and I, I stopped at Meyer and they have dog food. It's the same price just about everywhere else. A um, couple products I needed. Um, just the usual stuff I use. Nothing glamorous, nothing strange. I have a cart full. I get up. Now, when I walked in, there were two checkouts. I wasn't in there that long. I go up. It's about 1030. And no checkouts. It's all robots. Self-checkout. I don't do self-checkout. It hurts my back. It's not. It was higher. It just hurts my back to do it. And they're backed up. And there's only one person running 20 lanes of this. One. And he's hopping. And people are standing. And I'm just irritated. I'm not mad. I'm irritated. But, oh yeah, Fred Meyer, if he was alive, he wouldn't put up with this stuff. All those checkout lines, I see a lot of employees standing around, management, etc., blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Obviously, no one cares. So I go up and, you know, I've got refrigerated and frozen food in this um, cart. And so I go up to the lady that's at the door. I'm like, you know, ma'am, I'm sorry. I can't do these shelf checkouts. Um, but there's a cart there full of uh, refrigerated goods and stuff that you need to know about. And she tears into me. She tears me, well, they had to go home because their feet hurt and this and that, and they had to go home. I'm like, no, they didn't have to go home. Someone could be running these lines. If Meyer wants to pay them, if they want to pay them, people will stay, work, and make a living, an honest living. Of course, we all know what they pay these people is basically less than a minimum wage. You know, and people, older people, mainly the failed baby boomer generation, like, well, $15 is more than I made. I made $5 an hour and bought a house. Well, yeah, so did I in 1984. You know, it's 2023. And we're in the middle of hyperinflation. But somehow, this woman's going to scold me about how their workers need to go home and rest their feet. Well, you know, whatever. And she chewed at me. And then she started following me out the door to chew into me a little more. I turned around and must have looked like lobsters were coming out of my head. Because, you know, I will cut a bit. I wouldn't cut an older lady, but if someone come at me, I will come back at them. Because I have to. No one's taking care of me. Meyer stores suck. They're as bad as Walmart. Now I'm going to another store here. My favorite is Martin's. They will always have a checkout person. Well, that's changing too. But you know what? I'll leave that cart of refrigerated food right there because I will never ever use a robot when you use robots they're replacing humans that would be you don't be stupid robots don't improve our lives and then you know what those robot checkouts by the way cost about forty thousand a year to maintain because of software licenses and maintenance etc cetera, etc cetera. 40 g a year now it might be a little less now but think 30 to 40 that pays someone 15 dollars an hour or maybe 20 an hour part-time to do that very same job. And trust me, people walk out of those stores all the time shoplifting on those machines. Yeah, that's another reason I don't like using them because what if it missed scans and I don't catch it? I'm not there to be the checkout person. I'm there to buy my produce and all that good stuff. So I'm going to this other store. I know they'll have a checkout. The prices won't be that different. So I know all you naysayers out there, yeah, you got prices and lower prices. No, the prices aren't lower. There's no lower price. It's all about the same. Think about it. Is that robot worth your life? Because that's what it's coming down to. Is that robot worth your life? Ponder on that, especially baby boomers, the failed generation. And have a good day. April 7th, 2023. Happy Passover.